course, if you're an Eagles fan, West Torrens, they have cleaned up in the Saka Premier League. They had the one day, then they dropped five guys into the Redbacks and managed to get them to beat New South Wales. So we finally win a Shield game. We go, let's find out what is going on at the Eagles. Mark Harrity has been good enough to come in. And of course, Jordan Buckingham, who just took fourth in his first game for South Australia. Welcome, boys. Hi, guys. How are you? Good, mate. Let's start with you. Congratulations, mate. Uh, how come you didn't win everything? You nearly had um, three. I wasn't too upset with Paul winning the 2020. They were wearing the prison bars, so that's not too. So you let him have that one, didn't you? Let him have one. Hey, mate, at what stage of the game do you reckon cool. do you reckon you had it? You had this um, thing. Look, mate. Oh, we'll start with the one day because we yeah. won the two day. So the one day, I think um, we didn't really until probably two overs to go. Um, yeah. Bucks and, uh, and Spencer had a couple of overs left each, it being the two big quicks coming back on and. They had a guy on about 96 and the game was in the balance and, and when he held out in the outfield, um, at that stage I thought we were probably home. Yeah, they were, into, we were into the tail and uh, so that, that was a pretty intense game, the one day, the one day final. Yeah. The other one? And the other one, um, of just recent, um, the two day, we, we probably took a bit of a gap, we, we got thrown in. Um, yeah, to, lost the to toss to yeah, yep. we got thrown in and usually the teams in those situations will try a bat first, Tea Tree Gully only needed to draw. Um, so in that situation we expected them to bat but they threw us in, it was doing a little bit early. To be honest we were in a little bit of trouble too for not many and um, then we put on a, uh, quite a big partnership that got us to a, a competitive score and we rolled the dice and thought let's, let's declare on 280 and have 12 overs at uh, Tea Tree Gully overnight. Um, and uh, Jordan and Spencer had a bit of a crack and look, Spencer Johnson, our big left arm quick, he managed to take three for four overnight. So at that stage, you sort of go to bed thinking it, it's not done, but uh, it was pretty handy. Three quite good, uh, they weren't tail enders, so there was three quite good batsmen that we managed to, to get out early and we sort of knew that, well, a full day, pressure on them now to actually win the game, not just draw it because there were seven wickets in hand. Yeah. And uh, look... Probably midway through the day, we started to feel like we were probably going to get home. Yeah. It was the semi. That was the game. That was the tough game. And they always are, aren't they, to get yeah. into the grand final. That was the one that went down the wire. That was the one that could have gone, you know. Either way, That yeah. was a dodgy one. But once you get there, you must feel... You must have felt confident going into the GF because that was a really tough game. And you need a tough semi to play a good grandy, I, I reckon. I've, yeah. I've always thought that. Great call, Barry. Um, Look, uh, Sturt had been top all season, yeah. and um, so it was a tough one for them to, to miss out in the end. But uh, they did go down the path of trying to play out the draw and bat yeah. for yeah. a day and a half. And uh, at five for 300 at Stumps on day one, it wasn't looking too good. And That's right. I, I said to the boys, I actually told my wife uh, when she asked what's going to happen today, I said, you might see me at lunchtime, I might be home drowning my sorrows. Um, but uh, to their credit, the two big quicks again stood did up well. and um, did yeah. really well. And that's... As I said to both of them, that's what first-class cricket's about, and that's hopefully their path. And Jordan's now made his debut, and Spencer's around the mark. And look, they they backed up on day two, and that's that that was a crucial thing for us. And then we've just got such a good batting line up, and they they, they were always confident about chasing the score down. Just to fill you in, Phil, in the district competition, and Britt, mm -hmm. the, the, if you finish top, Sturt, if they wanted to, could have batted the the entire two days. Yep. They didn't have to do declare, they didn't have to stop after 90 overs, or they could just keep batting and batting and batting. And it's been done before, hasn't it? It happened to us last season in the semi-final. Uni batted for a day and a half. There you go. In Callum Ferguson's last ever game of cricket for the club, yeah. or his last ever game of cricket, to be honest. Um, yeah. Poor guy didn't even get to pick his bat up. So I'm well, not a big fan of the rule, and I'm glad we won it. But I think it's a shocking rule. I think That's we need to I change think. it. I know yeah. in Victoria, talking to Jordan, that um, there's a rule that you've got one hour into day two to yeah. declare. It's at 16 overs, and yeah. I, I like that better, but I thought it was really important we win the comp before I whinge about it. So <laughs> now we yeah, can... I'm sure food has let it go. <laughs> 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 I, I think it's a great win, mate. No, I, I really do. I, I congratulate the Eagles. Uh, given that they won the two day, the one day, and now well, they didn't win the T20, Port won the T20, but ironically, those two clubs were the clubs that the Saka yes. wanted to chop. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, I think it's great for the competition, great for the area yeah. that both the Eagles and, uh, and Port Adelaide have had success because they're two very old clubs that have been around a long time and successful clubs. They're good, strong clubs. So, yeah. But anyway, tell us, off that. tell us a bit about your yes. debut, Jordan. How uh, that experience for you? Yeah, it was cool. Um, obviously, it's always been a dream of mine from such a young age to, to debut and to no matter it wasn't my home state this time, but I, I was lucky to get an opportunity over here. 
Yeah. Um, and to be a first year rookie, I probably didn't expect to to break into the side, but um, to get the opportunity and get the cap off Frankie Worrell, um, yeah, it was. Frankie Worrell. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. So, yeah. so mate, you yeah. break in and then you take a forfer. Can, yeah. can you get much better for you? I mean, it, you know, you come over from Victoria, Hawthorne Barracker too, mate, so we must have a chat with you after about the game on the weekend. He probably but, won't play again if he does. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, you touch on there, rookie year, you come in and you go, hang on a minute, we get the one day, we, we get the shoot, and then I'll get a forfer. In the yeah. first outing, it can't get much better, can it? No, nah, I can't. Well, an extra one might have been nice, the old Michelle five we could hold, but yeah, um, yeah, it's and then to get a win as well, the break the drought, we hadn't had a win in something like seven hundred days, so wow. um, to see some youth get injected in and, and to have a win, that was um, yeah, it was really cool. You, you made the move from Victoria. Yeah. And what, why did you make the move? What, what, what was the move all about? Were you invited? Did you think, ah, oh, my opportunities here aren't as good? Can I get the SA or whatever? How did it all happen for you? Yeah, basically opportunity. I think there was a lot of young quicks in Victoria that were sort of um, already in the system in front of me. So South Australia come knocking last late last season. Um, and then, yeah, I thought absolutely no-brainer, make the move over. There's some good guys around, like obviously Hags, mm. big factor in getting me to West Torrens and then Dizzy as well. So yeah, um, there's some yeah, real good fast bowling um, names here. So I thought, why not make the move? And... Yeah, never looked back since. Mate, no, does Dizzy help you with your fast bowlers? You talk more about his double century, mate. Where, uh, where, does, he go? where does he start? Yeah, a little bit more about the double, double century. century yeah. right? <laughs> but the bowling comes second. Is he me. good, mate? Has he been? Has he changed some new tricks? Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, um, there's some. As I said, there's some really good heads around, and yeah, his yeah his knowledge. He might tell you one thing, but that one thing you could hold in good stead for a long time. So his his knowledge is through the roof. Yeah, mate, the Eagles, so once you win it, everybody expects you to do it again, mate. So I'd imagine uh, bats go down, then they come up pretty quick to go. I know you had the presentation night last week, and mm-hmm. I won't ask you what the best stories were there because it'll take too long, but rebuild, already on it? Uh, we'll, rebuild. We, we, will. we definitely need to replace one player. Unfortunately for us, Ryan Gibson um, had his exit meeting yesterday, and he won't um, be required again for the Redbacks, unfortunately. Um, Ryan's been a fantastic player for the club. I think, um, I mean, he missed a fair bit of time in the middle of the seasons with the Big Bash, but um, outside of that, uh, you know, double hundreds, four or five hundreds, um, man of the match, David Hook's medal in the two-day competition and in, in the uh, one-day final, he actually did a hamstring on 10 when we were four for about 60 and yes, we were in did, all yeah. sorts of trouble. Mm. And, he, and um, the poor lad was actually in tears out on the ground and because um, he knew... That, what it might mean for his yeah. career and um, to his credit he gutsed it out and he got to 75 put on a 100 run partnership and it was enough to to, to get us home so he um, I think he's a special cricketer I know New South Wales are interested in him and I, I you know we, we wish him all the best in the future but yeah moving on we've got um, a chance now to look at some of the younger guys 18 lads played um, A grade cricket this season yep. um, and 14 of those guys were juniors at our club so Good depth. Um, mm-hmm. Yes, we do bring in guys like Jordan every now and then, and, and Daniel Fallon's a leg spinner. We're lucky enough to have him on board. But um, there is some good young talent there too, so um, mm, it's strong, exciting right. to have that chance to... Uh, I would hate to use the word rebuild and mm. prolong my coaching by saying we've won something, but you know I plan to try to win it every year. But uh, it does buy you a little bit of a time now to, to play some of the younger guys. Hey, mate, no doubt we could talk about it forever and we'd love to spend more time, but the producer's giving me the wind up here, mate. So well done to the Eagles. It's been a great year for you. It's it's a tough year. act to follow backing up next year. We'll follow with interest, mate. Good luck with the Redbacks. And, uh, Thank you. Welcome to SA. Obviously going to stay here for a long time, mate, because clearly you get better opportunity here and you play a lot better. So South Australia's been the right move for you. We need to get to a break. We'll be back with more in a moment. Thanks, boys.